Hello there. Uh, I am excited to introduce the, the next media that we will be studying. It's a media that you use the most on a daily basis and will continue to use the rest of your life. Today we're talking about photography and it's my aim that, that after this segment, the photos you take uh, every day on your phone or your camera, they will be forever improved and enhanced by studying qualities and traits of successful photos you can use the techniques to to better capture the moments that are most important to you and you will also have a great appreciation for this incredible art form it's really amazing to think how photography affects our life and how so much has changed in this media uh, in just the past few decades it's incredible when i was in college I would take a photo and then have to wait to get the film developed at a store before I could see what the image looked like. And I know that sounds like I'm you know, aging myself, but that wasn't that long ago, all right? Uh, and wow, you know, digital photography has just changed so much. You know, now any like five-year-old um, can pick up a phone and, and knows how to take pictures. Uh, it's actually said that the average person takes around 20 pictures a day, uh, which is double than it was just five years ago. And you know, I believe that as technology just continues to increase um, on our phones and, and as we become more visually oriented as a culture, I think this number will just continue to escalate. But you know what? In, in the fine arts, photography is still a relatively new media. And, and it's been interesting to kind of track um, its journey since it was introduced in the 19th century. You know, when it came out, people merely thought of it as a mechanical process and didn't really see it as an art form. People argued that it doesn't take as much time or skill um, to take a photo of something, you know, as it would to, to paint it or sculpt it. Uh, but, but a man named Alfred Stieglitz in the 20th century he believed otherwise. He, he was a photographer and uh, he ran this modern art gallery and he believed that, that good photography was created by using the same playbook of design as painting, okay? So, so emphasis, uh, balance, rhythm, contrast, and harmony, all these things. He believed all these could be achieved and accomplished in photography as well. And so when he composed pictures like the steerage, he, he was looking at the composition in terms of its shapes and lines. And through his camera work, he showed how one could be intentional with the formal aesthetic qualities. Uh, and in doing so, he helped demonstrate photography's firm place in the fine arts. Now, after Stieglitz came photographers like Ansel Adams and Robert Frank, who manipulated the, the elements and principles of design and, and how they framed their shots to, to powerfully express the world around them. And then, as you get into the 70s and 80s, you see artists like Cindy Sherman, who use photography as, as a medium to, to then explore conceptual ideas uh, around perception and, and identity. And so you see how photography um, opens up so much for the artist. Uh, and to be honest, the more I study it, the more I appreciate just the uniqueness of this art form, uh, its potential to, to capture and communicate things in a way that, that other media cannot. And so I think it's going to be interesting to, to see how this art form just continues to, to transform um, and be transformed by culture. Well, that's it for our intro to photography. Enjoy taking pictures.